Hi, it's Dominic from Path Off Life. And as promised in the previous film, we're going to have a wander around what remains of the Yellow Hotel. I've been here before, but people are very interested in it. And lots of people have happy memories of holidays here. So it must be quite poignant for them to see it in the state it is now. When I first came here, the rumour mill was, so I'm not going to go in that way, I'm going to go around here, was that uh, the yellow was getting knocked down and the second tower was going, going to get put there. Oh, I can see where all the bed mattresses have been dumped. Just through here. But uh, if you look at drone footage, you'll see that any work for foundations of a new hotel appeared to be on the other side of the tower, which is over there. So who knows? Right, first of all, we'll cover the pools. Now, not only empty, but I'm also pleased to state we don't appear to have any old dirty water here as well, so it doesn't stink. Right, let's go and have a look at the uh, kiddies play area that once was. Ah, big step. Quite a sad, really. I'm sure many a kiddie has uh, enjoyed themselves in there at the time. Here's some swings. So, there's the bridge over the pool. <sighs> Sorry, it's got a mosquito on my nose. Let's come around here. I have to be careful because previous routes may well be overgrown now. <laughs> Could do with a prune. Now, I'm not sure how the GoPro 13 is going to function inside the building in low light conditions. So what I'll probably do is have a little experiment, but then put the other camera on because I have actually come prepared this time, amazingly enough. It flies everywhere. So we got the indoor one and my trusty torch, which is useless at the moment because it's so bright in here, so but I'll need that later on. And let's have a look. Oh, the front door's open now. Less and less mysterious each time I come here, eh? <laughs> There's the lift shaft, and not the escalator as I called it in the previous one. There's a cat here. We scared the living daylight out of him. Well, push, 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 push. Oh, he's running off. He's going, Greg, the haunted ones. It's the waters. I'm just going in here briefly because it's got my favourite sign ever. I feel mortally offended that it's only written in English. There you go. Be a bit bright because uh, the shades are down, We've got holes in them now. So the sun's coming in and this camera's set up for night viewing. Now, look at that. Please don't put cheese in the toaster machine. 
not written in Greek, not written in Russian, not written in Chinese, just English. We should bow our, shame, our heads in shame. We're the only nationality deemed worthy or necessary of, of having a sign put up like that. I'll avoid the ones there because I imagine, sorry, I should point the camera and the light in the same way, really, shouldn't I? What I want to do is get upstairs now, because I didn't do that in the last film. So I need to find where the main stairwell is. Thought you're getting less useful at the moment. Toilets, good to know. London to Cyprus. Good for them. That floor was a bit. You wouldn't think so looking at it, but it was making an awful lot of noise. Anything in here that indicates a way up? Again, the light is an issue. This will just be the. Now I need to come back. <laughs> I'll have to get the tools drawn. What's the only obvious stairway? If these are the lifts, there must be one near here somewhere. A little sofa. Or are they really all on the outside? It's strange. Uh, oh, I'll we'll get to see a bit more of the uh, internals. This looks like changing rooms. Right, let's think. Back here was the main entrance. And you always have the staircases near the main entrance. You can tell I never stayed here myself, can't you? Now we're back in the uh, cheese room, as I call it. Oh, there's a staircase. Can I get in there? That's the question. Yes. Finally, now it's very bright. So rather than switch the camera again, you'll just have to tolerate being dazzled. Actually, I don't know what I can do. I can use the daytime setting on this camera, which isn't as good as the uh, GoPro, but it means not having to change the camera. So this is the first floor. Second, third, and fourth. I'll have a look here, but I imagine the floors from here on in are going to be all pretty much of a muchness, being a combination. Is it worth changing the camera back? There's the lift. All the windows have been removed, so any particular room. I still got the mirror intact. It's going to be a bit spartan now. Now, did the uh, rooms get posher? As you went higher, were they posher on the lower floors? Watch out for all these tubes. I 
basically a corridor of a mess now. <laughs> and if you had any idea of uh, getting any souvenirs, I think I'd forget it because there's nothing, anything that was collectible has long since gone. Saying that, there's an old bed frame there. With 100 quid on eBay. I'm watching out for all these cables. I'm doing my public information films from the 70s. Well, I think rather than go through countless, well, not countless, but various floors with the same scene. I'll go straight to the top one if I can find the elusive staircase again without having to go back all the way there because let's face it that would be a fairly dull walk but let's have a quick view from here I was on the roof of the Romantica restaurant a little while ago Nazis only. There was that sign on there. Well, I'm going to ignore that. Oh, there's another staircase here. Let's go up here. Enjoy the view as we go up. Just put my head in here to see if there's anything different. I don't know what I'm expecting. There's a couple more items of furniture. Nothing to get excited about though. Right, so that was the second floor. Which means that this next one is the third floor and the final floor. Right, once I'm back in here, I'll switch camera modes again. Right, so I'm now in dark view again. And that funny pipe we saw earlier was just the hose. What anyone would use the hose for. Is beyond me. So, did anyone watching this stay here? If so, what was your room number? I can check it out. Now, it's probably terrible lighting in there. We're too good. Toilet still in place there. There was that pipe that went out the window. Well, I suppose the ultimate question is can I get onto the roof? Because that's where the best view is going to be. So let's go and find out. A door here. See, this is another typical. Oh, is that a bird? I hope it was a bird. <laughs> yeah. Bird slightly more startled of me when I was a bit. Toilet cleaner. Can we get any higher here? I don't think so. So, how are we going to be able to get onto the roof? That's the question. If indeed this is possible. Well, first of all, let's walk back down here. You can suppose have a look to see if there's anything obvious from the side here. So the lift seems to go up to the roof, but we all know that we're not going to go up in the lift. <laughs> Someone seems to have sprayed paint on all the room numbers saying what the number is. 
And there must have been a reason to do that. Other than artistic desire. 359, see? If you stayed in room 359, you'd have had a lovely view of the Amavi Hotel. Built for couples. And there it is. There's another view of uh, the gardens. Oh, now that's interesting. There's a staircase here that's got another bit going up. Staff only, no entry to guests. Well, excuse me, but I'm promoting myself to a member of staff. Yep, here we are. The top of the Olo Hotel. And if nothing else, we'll get nice views up here. So let's just take them in. Oh, it just occurred to me. I should be able to see the uh, foundations of the second side uh, tower from the top over here, so let's just go and do that that way I won't have to fly the drone I think I will have to fly it anyway just to get around that but it's over there and work is definitely going on but at what state it's at nobody really knows anyway I suppose I should go and have a final view of the gardens as well so let's walk this way there's another staircase going down there And a friendly pigeon. Those apartments cost a few bob themselves, let alone a penthouse suite in the tower. So if they are building another tower over there, what's going to happen to the Yellow Hotel? It's in its present state. To say it needs a bit of TLC is a bit of an understatement. At the moment, the only great guests appear to be pigeons. There are a few of them. Hey, someone's drawn a cock. And on that bombshell, I will bid you farewell. Thank you for watching.